Hey, this is Bakes, uh, Kevin Baker, the Stock Market Authority. And I got a question from um, Murr from New York about J.P. Morgan Equity Premium Income, J.E.P.I. Um, uh, it's a yield vehicle. The yield's 11%, which immediately makes my my eyebrows go up a little bit. Uh, I go to the chart like I always do, and I, it's below the 200-day moving average. The 200-day is moving down. I don't like that too much. This volume down here on the down days um, uh, doesn't excite me that much. Uh, so, you know, it, it, for me, I would, I would, this would not be a chart that I would, I would stop on. Uh, next you go to these things here and, um, you know, here's the yield 11% interest rates are at, you know, four or five on the short end. So, how are they doing it? Well, they write calls uh, or they write options. I don't know. It's not always calls. Um, and the options to me just adds a level of complexity that I just don't think I need anybody needs, but they're doing their job. I mean, they're, 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 they're you know, creating an 11% uh, 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 income stream, you know, good monthly income, but the, the total return since the launch, it's all come from the income stream. The, the underlying stocks haven't done anything. And I kind of go, eh, and you know, it's, it's two and a half years and uh, it's worked thus far. But, um, uh, you know, and they own sort of, you know, mom and apple pie kinds of stocks, Progressive, Exxon, Mobil, Avi. It just uh, doesn't get me going at all where I can go out and find, you know, something that I think can, can go up 50 to 100 percent, which is what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to make money every year. And, um, uh, you know, this it's just not for me. Now, if you want to have a piece of your portfolio that's earning that 11% and not going up, and so your total return is 11%, that makes sense. Uh, you know, there is risk. Rates can go up a lot more than people think. They could make mistakes on the on the option side, uh, and some of these stocks would get clobbered, but I doubt it, you know, given the, the nature of, of uh, their balance sheets and, uh, you know, they diversify, they own 128 holdings. This is from the fact sheet, by the way, which I always go to when I look at a new ETF. So for me, uh, it would be a pass. If you want to have a small investment there, great. Uh, but I think all you're going to do is clip the coupons and you're not going to make a lot of money. Probably not going to lose a lot of money, but um, I, I'd rather do other things myself personally. So I hope that's helpful and uh, keep those uh, questions coming in. Any thoughts and ideas are welcome and I will see you soon. Take care now.